two days at least, I had a sense as to what God was going to, what God was speaking about the new year. But I didn't know how to put it into words. You can't put an entire sense out to the people. You need to put that into words. And believe me, I was not able to get words. But when I started to get words, there were many words. But I wanted one word that would capture what God was speaking to my heart. And let me say this with joy. At about 7 or 8 in the evening, that one word came through. And I must say, that's one of the most simplest, most very simple word that I've ever heard from the Lord. But I think that will capture what God is speaking so well. So I don't want to go into anything that's complicated. I will keep it very simple. But I believe God has a prophetic word to speak to his people. So this is what the Lord told me this year 2015. The year of seeing. Amen. 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 What are we going to see? The Lord told me very clearly this year, big things not seen before. Big things, things that are mighty, not seen before. You will see this year. You will see not just, you know, reflect or contemplate. It will be actually seen. You will see God move. You will see miracles happen. You will see signs and wonders. You will see supernatural provisions. You will see your children come back. You will see restoration in your families. You will see things that you have been praying for years being answered in the name of Jesus. So I declare once again, this is a year of seeing. Can I get a witness somewhere here? This is a year of seeing. The word that God gave me to, to accentuate or to, to, to hold it in place is a word from Jeremiah 33 and verse number 3. Jeremiah 33 and verse number 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God says things that you have never known before. You are going to see in the year 2015. So if you have faith bubbling up in your heart, can you just turn around or, you know, nudge somebody, pat on somebody's back, which is sleeping, wake her up, and say, hey, get ready to see. Get ready to see. Hallelujah. Get ready to see. We're going to see things in families. We're going to see things in our church. We're going to see things in every area of our lives, physical, financial, you know, a uh, 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 lot of areas. Uh, restoration, people that need to be saved, the growth of the church, we will see it. So this is a year of seeing. Now I want to get to a place, I want to give you three or four important principles and then I will give you a couple of words that God gave me as a prophetic word for this year 2015 beyond the boundaries of our church. So let me just read that for you. Uh, Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. F four important truths. I want you to get this into your heart. And verse number 5 onwards, or 4 onwards. This is a story of Peter having toiled the whole night, caught nothing. And he's standing there with tremendous disappointment. And Jesus, when he had finished speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Drought. Just, 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 just throw your nets. Something is going to happen. But look, the first principle I want to leave with you, next to us. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Now I want you to know, anytime God is about to do something, we still tend to answer in the natural. 
in the domain of what we have seen, what we have experienced. You look at any miracles in the Bible. You know, when Jesus wanted to feed the 5,000, do you know how the disciples came and gave Jesus a lesson in mathematics? Saying how many people and how much money we need and how even if you have the money, it's not enough. Even if that is enough, the shops are not open. Come on. Every time when God is about to do something, there will be a pro protest in the natural. You look at the story of Lazarus. Jesus came on the fourth day to do a resurrection. And this lady, you know, she's kind of qualified. She just jumps in the way and says, Jesus, you can't remove the stone. He stings. It's four days. Don't you know the law of, of how bodies can get into a place of corruption and get you know, rotten after four days? It'll smell bad. And Jesus nevertheless did the miracle. Jairus. Jesus came and he wanted to heal Jairus' daughter. And somebody comes to Jesus and says, Jesus, don't worry anymore. The girl is dead. So every time God is about to do something, we will immediately project what we have seen, what we have heard, what we have gone through. Lord, the, the, the job situation in, Can in Edmonton is not that great. God, the medical condition is not that good. God, you know, this, is, this place is a place where churches don't grow. God, you know me. We have hundreds of protesting words that come out of our mouth. But the Lord spoke to me and said to me, tell my people to shut up. Because I'm going to go beyond the natural. Come on, somebody help me tonight. I'm going to go beyond the natural and do something in the supernatural. 2015 is not about the conditions that are favorable to you. It's about seeing God move in power. It's about the anointing of God. It's about the glory of God. It's about seeing the power of God. And God says, you call unto me and I will show you mighty and great things that you have never seen before. Tonight we are going to put down a resistance to the things of God and we are going to say, God, it doesn't suit in the natural even to believe but I know my God. He's a God of the supernatural. He can do all things. Can I get a witness somewhere here tonight? Hallelujah. This year is a year for people to believe in the supernatural come on get ready get ready get ready it's going about the supernatural now God says you know you know when you say seeing God what do you mean by that or seeing the things of God let me tell you when you talk about seeing the mighty things of God you're talking about seeing God himself and how many of you know my God cannot be bound and shackled within the domain of the natural he's a God who will move out of the box that you created for him even the church and the theologians have created a box around God saying miracles don't happen anymore but I am going to call them bluff tonight in the name of Jesus because my God is still on the throne he is the same yesterday today and forever you can expect some mighty things to be seen this year number two but then look at this man saying Simon answering saying master we have told but Nevertheless, at thy word, the Lord told me very clearly as I was praying, there's a very profound word. This year will be the year that my people are going to see the supremacy of the word of God over their situations. Oh, come on, you didn't hear that. The Lord told me I'm going to show my people that my word rules over every situation. That my word rules over every condition. That my word rules over your sickness, over your financial, financial problems, over the situation of your family. My word is supreme. How many of you believe there is power in the word of God? If you believe that, can you put your hands together? Give a Lord a praise in the house of the Lord. Tonight the word of God is going to be made supreme in your life. Come on people of God. I'm going to make a statement here. 
You know, last year we have been bombarded, at least on the news, by different kinds of negative news and all kinds of things falling apart in the last many years in different parts of the world, including the recent, you know, the flight going down under and everything looks so gloom and, and, and gloomy and bleak. But let me tell you something amidst all this. You take it as a word from God. 2015, not just within our church, around the world, people are going to see, nations are going to see the power of the word of God. Come on, somebody help me over here tonight. Do you believe there's power in the word of God? If you believe that, can you make your faith known in the house of the Lord? One word from God can change your situation, can change your family. Come on, somebody, receive it in the name of Jesus. This will be a year where the supremacy of God's word will be established. But the third point is the point where I want to push you a bit. I can see that expectancy on the people, on the face of the people over here. And I know some of you are going to latch on to it. What God told me tonight, are you ready for this? He had to correct me. He said, my people are still expecting things within the realm of what they can comprehend. But tell them. If they can make the expectation big. If they can make their faith big. I'm going to do something that no eyes have seen. It is bigger than you think. Come on. How many of you remember that passage? God is able. I said God is able to do exceedingly. Come on. Somebody help me over here. Abundantly. Ab far above all that you can pray or ask or imagine do you believe this year God is going to do something that's going to blow your mind away come on hallelujah it's not a small God that we serve we serve a mighty God we serve a great God somebody receive it in the name of Jesus this year it will be the bigness of God somebody say bigness of God now why did I say that? Because when God, Jesus was talking to Peter, Jesus said, cast down the nets. Yes. But the Bible says, Peter cast his net. Look what it says, I will let down the net. You know what? Peter is trying to be polite. He has got faith in God's word, but he doesn't want to offend Jesus. So he's trying to play it, you know, uh, 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 kind of balanced. I don't want to be too extreme. What if Jesus does it? Yeah. Now, if he doesn't do it, you know, it's okay if it's one net. Because the nets have been washed. You don't have to take all the nets. Because all you wash, it's sunlight. And nobody's going to catch fish in the morning. That's not something that is reasonable. But you know what? What Jesus was about to do was not for one net. Was not for many nets. Was not for one boat. Because the Bible said they had to call other brothers with more boats. The fish was so much, even the boats started to sink. Come on, hallelujah. You are thinking small, but God is thinking something big. How many of you can believe this year you're going to see bigger things? Come on, somebody. Can I get a witness somewhere here? You're going to see, oh, you didn't hear that. I said you're going to see bigger things in your family, bigger things in your finance, bigger things in your children's life. Bigger, 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 because we serve a bigger God. Hey, hallelujah. They are thinking so small and puny kind of expectation. But what God was about to do was bigger than the net, bigger than the nets, bigger than a boat, and bigger than more boats. You know, I have to tell you, I have to confess this. God had to deal with me this morning. Because I, was, I came to a point, I said, God, I have seen you move. I have seen provision, providence. I have seen preservation, protection. I have seen how you have moved in meetings. I've seen God bless in other places. I've seen so many things, but it came to a point, what more? What more? And God had to almost slap me out of it. He said the word more, like a thunderbolt. He said, my kingdom is all about more. Amen. You have seen some blessing, more is coming. 
You have seen some healing, more is coming. You have seen some finance, more is coming. Come on, how many of you believe you serve a God of more? Come on, hallelujah. He has got more waiting for you. If you believe that, can you make a joyful noise in the house of the Lord? This year, you are going to see it, see it, see it. And number four, this is the most powerful thing. Are you ready for this? And not everybody is going to get excited, but I am excited. And some of you are going to join with me because we have got some people as crazy as your pastor. Amen. Amen. This is what I want to tell you. You know, when this overwhelming display of power, where Jesus, there was a harvest of the sea. There was a harvest of fish that came. And, and Jesus did an ex extraordinary, spectacular miracle. Amen. But having said that, how many of you know Actually, what happened there was something deeper. Because when God is doing something, He's doing it in layers. Amen. Some things you can see right away. Something is behind the scene. You know, it was not the fish getting into the net of Peter. That is a miracle. It was Peter getting into the net of Jesus. Yeah. It was not Peter catching fish. It was Jesus catching Peter. Amen. Come on, somebody help me over here. Hallelujah. Oh, you didn't hear that. I, I tell you, people of God, this time, this miracle is going to be deeper. You're going to see some miracles and through that miracles, some of them are going to be caught by Jesus. Some of them are going to go into ministry. Some of them are going to be, become powerful ministers of the gospel. Can I get a witness somewhere here? Come on, hallelujah. This miracle is bigger than some fish getting into the net. From a miracle of power, there was a miracle of grace. Because Peter knelt down and cried and said, I am a sinner. Leave me, Jesus. There will be miracles in your life. Write it down. That will make you fall on your face. I'm going to declare over not just our church, but believing churches in the city, in the days to come, there will be miracles that people will fall on the face and say, God is God. <laughs> Sinners are going to repent. People are going to come out of drug addiction because they saw the power of God. Can I get a witness somewhere here? We are going to see the power of God manifested in the city of Edmonton and people's lives are going to be transformed because of it. You know, I want to tell you people of God, anytime God does something in my life, I have gone on my face. I have cried. I have been overwhelmed. I don't even know how to receive it. But the Lord told me, get ready my son next year or this year. 2015, you are going to see such miracles. You will walk crying. When you are on the plane, you will be crying. When you are driving your car, you are crying. Because you don't even know what to do with this miracle. And you are going to say, I am unworthy. I don't deserve it. Come on. Some of you are going to get, oh, come on. You didn't hear that. Some of you are going to get some miracles that you are going to cry out to God and say, God, I don't deserve it. I am unworthy for this miracle. If you believe that, can you lift up your voice? Miracles that is beyond your expectation, beyond your ability, beyond your deserving. He is going to do it because he's going to show his power in the land of Canada in the name of Jesus. So I want, I'm going to give you that moment. Can you believe this evening or this night that you're going to get some miracles that you will come to your pastor and say, Pastor, I have got something to tell you and the words don't come. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Words don't, you're going to say, God, I don't even know because I didn't even pray much. I don't deserve it. I was praying for a hundred dollars increase and he gave me a ten thousand dollars. Oh, come on, hallelujah. I was praying for my son to get saved, but now he's preaching. Are you with me this evening? Somebody help me over here. You're going to get a miracle that's going to make you fall on your face and say, God, it's only because of your grace. It's only because of your grace. Come on, if you believe that, can you shout a hallelujah? You are going to see, see, see. Everybody said the word see. This is a year of seeing. We have been hearing a lot. We have been getting promises. But this year, 
it won't be just hearing a promise it will be the seeing the fulfillment and i have a sense the next few weeks in our church this will be a series see hallelujah but two things the lord told me to tell you for the for the entire world two things number one the lord told me in this year 2015 just like you heard the advancement of evil over the news my people will see and hear reports coming from different nations of the world of miracles that happened in the name of jesus christ i'm not talking about something that happened in a corner and and just the the people in that vicinity came to know about it. i'm talking about reports that will spread across the globe of what god did god said i'm not going to be intimidated by any of these groups including isis because my god is greater i said my god is greater he is a god who can send fire from heaven you are going to hear reports of mighty things that have happened in different parts of the world get ready in the name of jesus 2015 does not belong to the devil in from hell it belongs to the king of kings and the lord of lords if you believe that shout a hallelujah there will be signs and wonders reported from across the globe in the name of jesus when darkness shall fill the world the bible says the glory of the lord shall shine Number 2 the Lord told me you're going to hear reports of some very visible people important people being converted to Jesus. Some of them will be people in very high position, some of them will be celebrities that they will come to Jesus. And those reports will come out. This is a year of seeing. Come on somebody receive it. See If you want to capture this word into your spirit, I want you to do some action over here. If you want to just speak out, speak out. If you want to tell somebody, tell somebody. If you want that sister came to me, Margaret came and shook hand with me, do something tonight. I don't want everybody to come to me, please. <laughs> Amen. You can go to your neighbors, you can go to somebody and say, I'm going to see something. Come on, the year of seeing. Four things. Number 1, God is going to do something which can be explained only by supernatural terms within the supernatural number 2 when god is going to do something his word is going to be held supreme we will see the supremacy of god's word number 3 god said tell my people don't come with a small little come big because what you're going to see is mighty things hallelujah number 4 through this some people's lives are going to change some of them will go into ministry some of the character will change some of them will become prayer warriors some of them will become faith heroes some of them will become people who will walk with god come on hallelujah this miracle is going to propel you into a spiritual experience that you never had before in the name of jesus are you ready tonight can we declare the year of seeing come on everybody if you would like to stand up you can stand up we are going to pray and close the service today but we are going to declare as loud as I, as we can the year of seeing come on speak it out speak it out i will see say it loudly in your own family Oh hallelujah 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 Thank you Jesus keep praying keep praying Before you leave this room take that as a word for your life Hallelujah You're going to see the goodness of God You're going to see the fruitfulness in your life You're going to see prayers answered You're going to see bondages broken You're going to see supernatural provisions Even for our church there's going to be financial releases that help us to acquire our own building in the name of Jesus. We are going to see it in the name of Jesus. Somebody say big. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this awesome night. Lord, we believe that what you're about to do will be so awesome. that will take us to a place where we don't even know how to put it into words all that we can do is to kneel down and say i am unworthy i don't deserve it 
my god you are faithful my god you are gracious that will be our testimony in the days to come so i declare in the name of jesus devil you wanted to showcase your evil designs over the lives of our people but your plan is now terminated because god is about to showcase he is about to display his greatness his power his goodness come on somebody receive it in the name of jesus i thank you lord it's been done it's been done i bless your people when they leave this place your word will go with them the supremacy of your word will be established in their lives that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of the lord we thank you it's been done absolutely and irrevocably when your people go back they'll go back with rejoicing in jesus precious name we pray and everybody said can you give the lord the best